Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to tackle another topic in algebra called synthetic division. Now, most of us have probably seen synthetic division in one form or another, but here we're going to take a look at some other things we can do with synthetic division, and you'll find that after you watch the videos here, you're really going to like synthetic division. Well, first of all, what is synthetic division? If you're not familiar with it, what is it? Well, it turns out that it's a simple means, a simple technique, to divide one polynomial by another. Now, we already have what we call longhand division to do that, but you'll see that when we use synthetic division, it's a lot faster, a lot quicker and simpler. But synthetic division can do a lot of other things as well. For example, it can evaluate functions really quickly, we can factor polynomials, and we can find the roots of functions, including functions that are higher order than square, than x squared, for example, third order and fourth order equations, those are really difficult to factor and it's really difficult to find the roots normally, but with synthetic division we have kind of an inroad on how to do that. So we'll show you how to use synthetic division for all those other reasons as well. But first we're going to show you a simple example of what synthetic division is typically used for. It's for dividing one polynomial by another. For example, x squared plus x minus 6 divided by x minus 2. When we use longhand division, notice we go to the process and we find that the result of that is x plus 3. So we can see that the result of x squared plus x minus 6 divided by x minus 2 is x plus 3. So how can we do that using synthetic division? And where does synthetic division come from? Well, essentially, the idea is to get rid of the variables and simply use the coefficients, the numerical coefficients. So notice that this looks exactly the same as that, except instead of having the x squared and the x in there, we simply remove everything and we simply write just the numerical coefficients. And then if we get rid of the numerical coefficient of the x and realize that it starts with x and then we have a constant here, we simply just keep the constant and keep the coefficients of the polynomial that we are dividing. And this is how we use synthetic division to get the very same result. Now it turns out there are two different ways in which we can do synthetic division. We can use what we call the method of subtracting or the method of adding, and this is an easier one. So first I'll show you this, and then I'll show you this. We get the same result, but easier doing it this way. So notice, here we have divide by x minus 2. So we take the minus 2 and we put that right here. The coefficients 1, 1, and negative 6 are the coefficients of the polynomial in the numerator. 1, 1, and negative 6. So the way this works is you take the first coefficient and you drop it down here. Then you take minus 2 times 1, which is minus 2, and you write it here, minus 2. So this is simply minus 2 times 1. And now we subtract the negative 2 from the 1. And this is why I don't like that method as much, because it's hard to subtract negative numbers. Remember, when we subtract the negative number, it's like adding the positive number. So 1 minus a minus 2 is actually 1 plus 2, which gives us 3. Now we take negative 2 times 3, which is negative 6, and we write it there. Now we take negative 6 and subtract the negative 6 from that. So again, subtracting a negative number is like adding the positive number. So negative 6 plus 6 gives me 0. If we end up with a 0 here, that means there's no remainder. So this means no remainder. Notice in the numerator, this represents the x squared term, this re represents the x to the first term, and this represents the x to the zero term, or the constant. In the denominator here, this is the solution, this represents the x to the first term and the x to the zero term. And notice that we simply say we have 1x to the first power, or x, plus 3x to the zero power, which is simply 3. And so this is the solution of our subtraction, or not subtraction, but of our division. When we take x squared plus x minus 6 divided by x minus 2, the solution is x plus 3, 1 times x plus 3 times, well, x to the 0, which is simply 1, so we get x plus 3. Now they match, now we can see that we did it correctly. Now why is this method easier? Well, the reason is that here we have to subtract these numbers from the numbers above, and subtracting negative numbers is always a mess. So instead, what we're going to do is, instead of writing a negative 2 here, we make that into a positive 2. We simply change the sign of that. And so when we have a positive 2 there, now we have to add these numbers to the numbers above it, which makes it a lot easier. So, so see what that looks like. Again, we drop the 1, 
2 times 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, negative 6 plus 6 is 0. Notice this means there's no remainder. And then here, this represents x to the first power, x to the zero power, so the solution simply is 1 times x plus 3. And again, notice we get the very same result that we got over here, which we get over here, and that is how we do the, the um, division of one polynomial by another using synthetic division method. And it's the easiest thing when we do it like this, and notice then all we do here is instead of having a negative 2, we simply turn that into a positive 2. If this was a positive 2, it's turned into a negative 2. And then we go through the process. Again, the process is you drop the first number, you multiply by 2 times 1 gives us 2. Add them together, you get 3. 2 times 3, which is 6. Add them together, you get 0. This means you have 0 remainder, and here's your solution of your division. And that is as simple as it is when we use synthetic division. Good. All right.